Hello guys and this is the fourth video of the UDK Advanced series and in this video I want to go over how you can add a cursor to your menu so people can actually uh, see where their mouse is and they can click the bus buttons efficiently so to do that what we're going to be using is a on clip event with an image and then we're going to make sure that tracks uh, basically that image follows the mouse so to start off I'm going to make a new layer and call it cursor you can make your own cursor in um, Adobe Photoshop if you really want to you just want to make sure it's like a no, triangular shaped with a with like a transparent background but just for now because I'm trying to save time I'm gonna go ahead and just import the one that comes for UDK so I'm just gonna go to uh, yeah disk drive C UDK 2012 UDK game flash and then under and then under front end and then under assets you can find the cursor in here or there's also another location which is UDK HUD and then pause menu and it's cursor underscore PNG you want to make sure you've set up your um, cursor image to make sure it's lossless and make sure you click allow smoothing and you, you won't see the difference up there but it does work trust me okay so I'm just gonna drag this down to the middle so it makes it easier for me to see you can resize this um, cursor however you want like you can make it really big if you really like but I mean I doubt anyone needs a cursor that big so I'm just gonna leave it to what it is it's about right for the screen resolution anyway so with that we're gonna want to convert that to a symbol because we're gonna be using a on clip event and rather than a button as the previous things we made we're gonna make sure it's a movie clip and I'm just gonna call this cursor yep and I'm just gonna call this cursor symbol and press OK and then we're gonna want to apply some simple action script to that to make it actually do uh, follow the mouse so to start off we're gonna be doing a nice simple on clip event on clip event make sure you um, type this exactly as I do if you make any mistakes it can make it not work properly so what we're gonna do is put this as enter frame so as soon as it loads up this will work and I'm just gonna close that off and I'm gonna open up this line and I'm gonna do underscore X basically I'm gonna be doing X and Y axis to make it go up up down left and right so underscore x equals uh, underscore root dot underscore x mouse and then I'm gonna close that off and then we're gonna make another variable which is underscore y uh, equals underscore root dot underscore y mouse as you can see those two variables are the same basically what it's done what it's done is done is set like two different variables one for um, up and down and it's basically set the root of that to the mouse so whenever you move it it's gonna follow along with the image and then with that I'm just gonna end this by adding in that symbol there and then closing off the statement and then uh, if I've done this properly it should work let's go test that out and you can see it follows your cursor efficiently now and now in UDK they'll be able to press the buttons properly and see what they're doing you can use cursors like these in pause menus and stuff like that so I'm just gonna close this off uh, there we go so that's about all I want to show you in this video uh, in the next video I'll show you how to import your SWF into UDK I'm gonna show you how to set it up with the SWF commands I'm gonna go through a few little extra kismet functions that you can use like I'm gonna go over some of the console commands like set resolution take screenshots save uh, things like that so comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video peace out also I've got a special video coming for you uh, this next one just because I hit a hundred subscribers today see ya